I'm Julia Slinger, I'm the Chief Scientist at the Met Office and I'm this year's winner of the IMO Prize. It's an award that I'm really pleased to receive because it recognises not only of course my contribution to meteorology and especially climate science over the decades that I've worked in the field but also the really outstanding work that so many colleagues have helped me to deliver over that time. And of course also um, a demonstration of the importance now of climate science in the work of the WMO. Over the four decades or so that I've been working in meteorology I've seen a, a real transformation of my science. We've seen of course earth observation, we've seen the growth of uh, the use of computer models not just in numerical weather prediction but also in of course climate change and the role of the IPCC in setting the agenda on the mitigation of climate change and we've seen the evolution now to really detailed information that we can provide society on the risks they face from weather and climate not only a few hours ahead but looking now decades ahead it's been an amazing transformation so I guess over the time that I've worked in, in meteorology, we've become more and more aware of the importance of the science, the research that we do for helping uh, people around the world deal with the effects of weather and climate and plan their future, make themselves more resilient, better prepared for the risks they face. And so I think we've become more and more aware, even as research scientists, that at the end of the day it's our science that improves the services that are needed by, by society. When I think about what is the next big challenge for climate science, well actually it's all about the weather. Because at the end of the day, uh, weather is what we experience. The climate is just the average of all those experiences. And when we look at the challenges that the world faces from climate change and even from natural climate variability, at the end of the day it's all about uh, high impact weather it's about severe weather events and that's why the role of the WMO in this whole agenda on climate change is so important because it will be about extreme weather that will be uh, what will determine our future and manifest itself as as some of the biggest risks we face I am of course a woman and as a woman scientist we are in a minority and over the years I've often had to be the only woman around the table with a lot of male colleagues. I've never felt that that's been an issue and I'm really pleased now as I look at my team in the Met Office that at the more junior levels we have a really good balance between men and women. There's still a lot of work though to do to see more women in leadership positions in science and indeed in, in, in the services that we provide on weather and climate. What's the most important thing if you're a young scientist? Well, it's to um, enjoy your science, to relish the challenge that science throws at you. Uh, to not plan too far into the future because you never know what will come round the corner either as an opportunity for you as a scientist or indeed a new challenging bit of research that you'd never have anticipated. So for me it was always about not planning the future, just waiting to see what comes along and what opportunities uh, come, come your way. But to work hard and enjoy your work and uh, enjoy your colleagues and science is endlessly fascinating and the weather is endlessly fascinating.